This is a level 1 functional skills maths paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. Activity 1, wildflowers. Test does voluntary work for a local nature group. The group wants to estimate the number of wildflower plants in a field. To calculate the area of the field, test has to work out 40 squared. Calculate the value of 40 squared. 40 squared is 40 times 40. And we can easily do this by multiplying 4 by 4 gives us 16 and then add in the two zeros so 1600 you can use other methods as well to make the estimate test uses this 0 0.7 meters by 0 0.7 meters square frame calculate the area of the frame in squared meters. Now similar to the way we've done the question that came before, I'm going to do 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. 7 times 7 is 49. Now the 0 is in front of the decimal point. It's not after the digit in a whole number. So what I'm going to do is count how many decimal places there are in this number. There are one, which means one digit after the decimal point. And same thing here. We've got one digit after the decimal point, only the seven, so it's two in total. So I'm going to go to the answer, one, two, 0 0.49. Again, you can use any other method that you like. Run your answer to 1B and use this value to estimate the number of frames that will fit into the field with no overlaps. So 0 0.49, I'm going to run that to 0 0.5, which is half. And I'm going to estimate how many of these fit into 1,600. So the question is now, how many halves fit into 1,600? There are two halves in a whole, in one. So how many halves would there be in 1,600? It would be double that. So that would be... 3,200 halves in 1,600. Tess puts the frame on the ground. She counts the number of plants in the frame. Tess repeats this 12 times in different places on the field. Here are her results. Tess uses her results to calculate the mean number of plants per frame. She then uses this rule to estimate the total number of plants in the field. So we've got mean number of plants per frame multiplied by the number of frames that will fit into the field gives us an estimate of total number of plants in the field. Use Tess's data and the rule to estimate the total number of plants in the field. So let's work out the mean first. We've got 4 and 1, which makes 5, 8, 10, 14, 24, 26, 30. So it's 30 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 30 divided by 12 
How many 12s fit into 30? That would be two of them, because it gives us 24. Then we have six remaining. We've run out of digits, so we're going to put a decimal point now, and we can add a zero after. So how many 12s would fit into 60? And you can try 12 and 12 gives us 24. If I try to add in another 12, that's going to give me 36. So three lots of them. If I add another 12 to make four, get 848. So I can still keep going because I need to reach 60 or something around that. Add 12 to make five lots of 12. That gives us exactly 60. So the answer is 2.5. So that's the average. Now we're going to use that average multiplied by the number of frames that fit into the field, which was 3,200, to get the estimate. So we're going to do 3,200 times 2.5. I'm going to do the calculation, but there is another way, another easy way, I should say. So let's start with a 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. So 0 down and 1 carried over. 5 times 3, 15. And the 1, 16. Now put in a 0 down. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0 again. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. So there are no decimal places in the first number because we haven't got a decimal point, And there is one decimal place in the second number because we've got one digit after the decimal point. So now we're going to give this answer only one decimal place. So going backwards, that's where we should stop. So it's 8,000. I mentioned an easy method as well. So we've got 2.5, a number multiplied by 2.5. 2.5 in itself means two lots of the whole thing and a half. So in this case, it means two lots of 3,200, which is 6,400, and half of it, which is 1,600. So it could have been a case of adding 6,400 and the 1,600. And that again would have given us 8,000. Whichever method you prefer to use is perfectly fine, even if different from the ones that I've mentioned. In the 1930s, there were 12,500 square miles of wildflower meadow in the UK. By 2017, only 5% of this remained. What is 5% as a decimal? So 5% is 5 out of 100. And that is just like saying 5 pence in 100 pence, 5 pence in a pound. And we write that as 0 0.05, just leaving out the pound sign. How many square miles of wildflower meadow remained in the UK in 2017? So we're going to work out 5% of 12,500. We're going to use the 10% method. So 
So 10% of 12,500, we can work out by going 12,500 divided by 10, which gives us 1,250, so knocking off zero. 5% is going to be half of it. So 1,250 divided by 2. How many 2s would fit into 12? That is 6. How many 2s into 5? That is 2 and 1 remaining. How many 2s into 10? That would be 5 of them. So 625 square miles. And this is the end of this part.